All right, everybody, what is going on? And welcome back. Today's video, I'm really excited to make. Today, we're going to be talking about the unlocking of LHR cards on NiceHash. They announced on the 7th that you will be able to get full hash rates on all of your LHR cards except for the 3050 and the 12 gigabyte 3080. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I figured I'd start off in the farm and then we're going to go up into my house and take a look at my desktop. So I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to get Excavator all up and running and get all your LHR cards going. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and you subscribe and then let's get it. All right, everyone. So I'm going to take over and start getting a little more uh, prevalent in Joe's channel. So I'm going to help you walk step by step through how to reinstall QuickMiner and get that LHR card unlocked. So to start, we have everything running on TeamViewer. It's just, in my opinion, the easiest. It's what I prefer. So I'm able to see everything that I need right here. These are all of our miners and everything that we have running currently. And right now we're going to go ahead and work on Shed 6. So we're going to get that opened up. So we currently have regular nice hash running. So I'm going to get all of this closed out first because we don't want this open while we're downloading the new one. And I'm going to uninstall. If you don't know how to uninstall, it's best to open your file location, uninstall nice hash miner, and go ahead and go through their little uninstall. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our searches. And I like to use the keywords, so nice hash download. It's going to take you right to the download center. And we're going to go ahead and download nice hash quick miner. This is super easy, super simple, and super quick. We're just going to follow through these prompts. Now the only difference is this time we're going to go ahead and use RC release candidate. And we're going to select that. I like to leave all of these options set right here. And then go ahead and verify we're 18. And it's already downloaded and installed. So let's go ahead and accept through these. Now you do have to enter in your mining address every time you do this. So we're going to go ahead back over to NiceHash. And then I already have myself logged in. So I just need my code. And then you guys might have easier ways to do this, but the easiest way I found is to go ahead and click the wallet, deposit, show my address. We're going to go ahead and copy it. And then we're going to come over here and paste it and accept. All right, now I want to rename this and I know that I'm working on Shed 6. So I'm gonna name this as Shed 6 Quick so that I know that I have to remove the original Shed 6 on our nice hash dashboard and I'll show you how to do that. But this will tell me that this is the one that I just updated. So then we're going to go over to auto start. Now I have everything auto started in case anything was to happen. So we're going to go ahead and auto start all of these and click through OK. And we're going to hit start mining. And then right here, you can see that we are now started. Now there is one little message it's not going to let me do it. It's a little too far, but you can see now that all of these are started to accept. And we want to see that all four cards are now, I'm so sorry, five cards are now running on here. And this is where you'll see it. So all four cards were accepted and all four are now running. So we're going to hop back over to Nice Hash and we're going to go back to our mining. And we want to find shed six quick this is the one we're going to use this is the one that i just took off so if you're not sure how to remove this click these little dots over here remove rig
and we're going to take that off. And now we're back here over at our shed six. Here's where it's going to show you your OC tuner. This is what's going to let us overclock through nice hash if we want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I want it to manually be done because I want to overclock with my settings, not necessarily what nice hash has, but I do want to use my settings and I prefer to use um, MSI afterburner. So I'm going to go ahead and choose manual and this will reset all of the overclock settings. See, optimize, we all got them optimized. So now I can go ahead and overclock them with my settings. So we're gonna drop this down. And we're gonna head over to our MSI Afterburner. And I have all of our settings pre-saved. So I'm just gonna make sure that these are active and these are input in. So I'm just gonna force it through just one more time real quick. See, I don't know if you saw that one, but this one was set over at 100, so that wasn't active. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and apply that. And now I do have these linked, so it should carry over the settings as well. Good. So now we'll hop back over here and we'll take a quick peek and let this go ahead and cycle through. Make sure it did carry over our settings. All right, so there should be a little, little bit of a pause here. We're looking for these, these nice blue numbers right here. So these two right here, these are our regular 3090s. Right here is our LHR. See that 60.69? That's where we want to see. So that to me shows that we did get our MSI settings, afterburner settings on there. And this is now unlocked. So now that we have that up and running, realistically, we're done. And we can go ahead and let this go through and just do its own thing. But just real quick, I did want to show you guys. I don't know if you saw this nice little red number here, that 106. That 106, that is our VRAM temps. So what that's telling me is that we are going to go ahead and need to change our thermal pads out. So what we're going to do is this is probably a really good time to have show, uh, Joe show you guys how to go ahead and start changing those thermal pads because it's about that time, y'all. So on the next video, that's probably what he's going to go ahead and talk to. So we will see you guys later and have a great day.